It's been more than 10 years since an earthquake and tsunami devastated Japan, killing thousands and triggering a meltdown at the Fukushima nuclear plant. But some are concerned it could still be an environmental time bomb. There are still barrels of radioactive water, enough to fill about 500 Olympic-sized swimming pools, that need to be disposed of. They were used to cool the reactors in the aftermath of the disaster. Now they're one step closer to being released into the Pacific Ocean. The plan, as it has been proposed and devised, is in conformity with the agreed international standards. I have repeatedly stated that I will not allow a discharge that would have a harmful impact on human health and the environment of both Japan and the world. Japan has been at pains to reassure its neighbours the most radioactive elements have been filtered out. What's left is an isotope called tritium. It's almost impossible to separate from water, but Japan says it will be diluted to internationally acceptable levels. Officials have pointed out the tritium levels would be lower than that found in wastewater regularly released by other nuclear plants, including in China. Regardless, some sceptics are standing firm. If Japan is bent on having its own way, it will surely be condemned and pay the price for its wrongdoing. China believes that the International Atomic Energy Agency should come up with a responsible conclusion on the discharge of nuclear contaminated water from Fukushima, which must stand the test of history and science and must not endorse Japan's wrongful act of discharging nuclear contaminated water into the sea. The criticism has also come from closer to home. A number of Japanese fishing unions argue it would undo the work done to restore their reputations in the years since the disaster. If we don't know of any other solutions and have decided to release the water into the sea, then that really requires a clear explanation to the public. The public really has to be reassured that the seafood is safe to eat after the discharge. Japan has just one final hurdle to clear, official approval from the National Nuclear Regulatory Body, which could come as early as this week. There's no start date yet for the release, but once it begins, it's expected to take 30 to 40 years to complete. Andrea Nierhoff, ABC News.